So, you've just landed in Medellin, Colombia's second largest city, and you've got a six to eight hour layover. Here's how you can explore this vibrant part of the world and get the most out of your short time here. You'll start with a two hour walking tour of this lively city center, around which Medellin was first founded. This is one of the areas where you can really see the transformation of the city. In the 90s, this was actually the most dangerous city in the world. But today, with the help of a mayor who introduced education programs, infrastructure programs, art programs in the 2000s, this has radically changed. And now Medellin has actually won awards for being one of the most progressive cities in the world. Here, you can even see a preserved steam train from when Medellin first built a railway system. Now we have started walking through the Candelaria area, which is the central area. As you can see, it's super busy with stalls, shopping opportunities, food, cars, bikes, pedestrians, everything in between. What surprised me about this area is that it's not only the central and the commercial area, but it is also one of the central areas where you actually have to be the most careful and watch out for your belongings. This is probably because it's one of the areas where people see the most opportunities, so to speak. So that's definitely my piece of advice to you. Always keep your bag close by. Always have uh, your phone uh, somewhere safe, zipped up, locked up. You get it. I mean, it is a big city, so just be vigilant like you would be anywhere else. Another thing that has interested me about Candelaria is this. This is the old Palace of Justice, which has been converted into a shopping mall. It is super beautiful on the inside, so I really want to go in and take a look. Not gonna lie, it's a bit of a weird shopping mall just because all I've seen is t-shirts, jeans, and caps. So yeah, not sure how much time I'd actually spend shopping here, but it's definitely really beautiful in terms of construction and architecture. The most famous square in Medellin is Plaza Botero, dedicated to the famous Colombian artist whose sculptures you can see lining the square. It is also home to one of the city's most celebrated art museums, where you can see Botero's original paintings on the last floor. A stroll through the square that used to be the original town center for Medellin and a 15-minute taxi or Uber ride through busy streets will bring you to your next stop. We are in the famous botanical gardens where you will definitely want to come to just to see what is above me right now. This is called the Orchidiorama. It is composed of many hexagons woven together, towering 65 feet above you. And its purpose is to collect rainwater and protect the huge collection of orchids and butterflies that they have here. These gardens are honestly never ending. I was just saying earlier that I get a feeling here that Medellin was built in the middle of a big jungle and now the jungle is kind of trying to reclaim its territory, if that makes sense. It's a weird sensation, but it is the first thought that came to my mind when I came here. From there, it's a 20 minute car journey to El Poblado, a neighborhood now known for luxury hotels, fine dining and independent bars, cafes and boutiques. Lunch is always fantastic at El Cielo, one of the city's best restaurants, which just opened its own hotel in the same building. If you still have energy and don't mind the 10 minute car ride, why not visit this beautiful villa, which was inspired by French castles and constructed in the 1930s and then donated to the government in 1971. Well, it's time to head back to the airport. I hope you enjoyed your short but memorable stay in one of Colombia's most extraordinary cities. Thanks for watching, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time.